All right, Steve, now that's it. Girl, you know I don't speak German, but God damn it, I love you. What do you want, Crow? I was gonna say that I'm doing Transformers now, so, you know, you, you, you're not the mascot anymore. I'm gonna find a new guy. You son of a bitch, you're nothing without me. How can you do this? Hey, this is a Christian channel. We don't be saying things like that. I don't give a f Hello, YouTube's Krosama, and here we have today from the Masterpiece line is MP43 Megatron from the Beast Wars Saga. So I absolutely loved Beast Wars when I was a child. I saw the first episode, and I just I fell in love. I was really into dinosaurs at that time, so watching this, you know, when I was a young child, I was like, oh man, Megatron's so damn cool, Dinobot's cool, I mean, all of them I thought were fantastic, and then I instantly got all the toys, you know just that's pretty much it from there i was a young kid and i already loved you know the g1 transformers line so getting into beast wars was actually pretty natural and i did have the original megatron toy i did have the transmetal and the transmetal 2 but at the time you know some broke uh some i got rid of because i got out of transformers in the mid 2000s and then that was pretty much it so yeah unfortunate but hey i get to go ahead and relive my childhood right now and Megatron is the leader of the Predacons, who are descendants of the Decepticons. Now the Predacons and the Maximals are fighting in space, get sucked into a vortex, get basically travel back in time to prehistoric Earth, crash land there. Then in order to protect themselves from the surplus of Energon on the planet, they have to actually protect themselves with a beast mode. So Megatron essentially gets the T-Rex mode and you know that's pretty much it from there. So in combat he is fairly intelligent and even in beast mode he's extremely powerful. So looking at the beast mode everything is going to look super damn good. You have the scaly skin which has a nice little blended and shading effect with the dark purple and the light purple and just the overall texture is looking very very good. And the eyes having the ability to move basically independently within the skull is going to be really cool and just add even more emotion to the dino head. So in terms of gimmicks, he is going to have a button right here that you can press and then he'll make, you know, some Japanese voice acting sounds. But, you know, I don't have the batteries for that, so I'll make a separate video just demonstrating it. And the on and off button for the actual gimmick is going to be located right here. So you basically just turn left or right to basically turn it on and off. Now, if you have this stand, you can slide this right here on his underside, plug this into any compatible stand, and now he's going to be able to be put in even more dynamic poses. So if you do not have the stand, uh, maybe a third party can sell it. I'm not really too sure. The stand I'm using is the one that came with the Masterpiece Dinobot. So I'm pretty sure maybe most people are not going to invest in a almost $300 figure just for a stand so maybe just look into i don't know ebay or something they might have some third party now in terms of kibble the only real location this figure is going to have it at is going to be the back of the legs so although looking at megatron's ass is unsightly enough i think this being the only main spot for kibble is going to be pretty damn good uh just in comparison to all the other masterpiece beast wars figures now on to the articulation Although lacking in articulation, when pairing up with any of the other Predacons, he's going to look super good. And just by himself, he's going to be a very intimidating force, especially on your shelf. So let's transform him from beast mode to robot mode. Yes.
And once in robot mode, man, is this going to look beautiful. Everything about this is just a hardcore yes for me. Now granted, with a price tag of pretty much over $315, it's not really gonna be something that everyone's gonna you know, rush the doors for. Uh, I managed to get it for about 260, so for me, it was an instant buy. So to be fair, the overall show accuracy that lies within like the head, the arms, the body, and the waist and legs, a lot of that is just covered up by the, you know, beast mode. So really kudos on them for sculpting such a beautiful chest plate and legs and everything, but there's nothing that you're really doing in order to accomplish this. So what I'm saying is that the transformation is not really complicated whatsoever. The only thing that's really gonna have any kind of involvement of a transformation is going to be the, you know, skin flaps on the back. So that's not to say that that's a bad thing because in fact, it's a welcoming thing. I actually really prefer a more simplistic transformation, you know, in favor of getting some really good sculpt. So let's move on to articulation. So the articulation on this kit is really good actually. Uh, pretty much throughout this video, you're gonna see some more examples of this kit being put in some dynamic poses. And also the balance is really good. I'm very surprised since its feet are, at least to me, very small, but because it has a little bit of die cast in the back heel, I think it's allowing it to pretty much weigh itself down a little bit more. So moving on to the different face plates. The first one is going to be a more neutral, emotionless kind of face. But the one thing I'm noticing is that the painting in these eyes are super good. Very very much reminiscent to the show and then you're also going to have the Predacon symbol right there in the forehead but I just love the overall paint job that they, they did with this just it's definitely breathtaking and to change the face plates all you need to do is pop this off and switch it with one of the other ones so if you just unscrew that front cover put in some LR44 batteries and press the back button you are going to get that little thing to light up So in terms of weapons, he is going to have the laser buster, and you can pop this little beam effect part directly into his mouth. And with the effect part, it is going to look pretty damn cool. And on his other arm, he's gonna have basically the tail acting as a claw or clamp, so he can grab his enemies and then just, you know, pretty much vaporize them with the laser blaster. And you can also remove this by just sliding it forward. And next you're gonna have is the rail gun, so there's not gonna be any effect parts that's gonna come with this figure. So they're kinda just there, just for aesthetics. And next is going to have is the hunting rifle. And to be honest, I can't recall what episode this debuted in. And all you need to do is just plug this directly into the hand. And with the hunting rifle equipped, he could definitely go out there and hunt him some Maximals. And the last main accessory he's going to have is going to be this toothbrush. Snaps right here in the hand. And now we keep them teeth all pearly white. So. Just like in the show, it's gonna be an awesome little accessory. But where's the goddamn rubber ducky? And with this accessory, you can just slide this right up here, plug it directly into the stand, and now he can sit down and brush his teeth. Or you can put him in a dynamic pose to where both of his feet are not gonna be flat on the surface, and it looks a little bit better if he's like in a running pose or something of the sort. And you also get this stand, but this is if you have Optimus Primal in your collection, and you can have him basically throw you know, Megatron off the cliff like he did in the series. So in terms of height, here he is next to Masterpiece Cheetor, High Grade Gundam, and a Master Grade Gundam. Now he is gonna have one more gimmick, and that's gonna be in the form of the light mode.
and here he is in light mode. So basically, like most of his armor's off, and he can more or less relax in the jacuzzi or just, you know, relax in the chair. So for my final thoughts, I think this figure is basically perfection. I, I maybe only have about 10 masterpieces in my collection, but this masterpiece in particular is just nothing short of beautiful. I am so thankful that I actually can start collecting more of my Beast Wars toys and really just have a great centerpiece in my house. But that's pretty much all I really have to say. It's perfect sculpting, beautiful painting, great articulation, you know, accessories are pretty decent, and yeah, it just looks really good. So what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below exactly what you think and feel about this uh, figure. If you're actually going to pick this up, let me know. And if the price point is a little bit too high, you know, I'd definitely like to know about that as well. But regardless, guys, that's it from me. So definitely appreciate all of you for watching. And like always, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.